So you may have heard gliders have been added to the native platform of Microsoft Flight Simulator. But if you've been following along, we've had gliders, thermals, winch launches, and aero tow for more than a year now. This was all accomplished with the free Kinetic Assistant app. But now these features are natively available in the sim. So what does the gliding aspect of this update add that's different? To start off, you get a ton of support to teach you how to glide. Several training missions are available for you to learn the ropes of everything. And there is also an assistance option for gliders. This doesn't affect the physics, but it does draw a box around the tow plane if you stray too far. So make sure you turn that off if that is something you would not like to see. You can now filter in glider-friendly airports, although I've noticed there are many more than what it shows. Sobo has also added some handcrafted glider ports for us to enjoy. One difference with winch launches now is you have three physical winches to choose from that will appear at the end of the runway. A Sobo doesn't provide any additional information about these, but one can only assume by the real sizes that these go from shortest to longest cable length. The experience is now complete with wing walkers too. They help hold the wings level until the glider has enough forward momentum to balance. Another new detail is that you can actually see the cable and chute fall back to earth. And this is something you look for to make sure the cable is actually detached from the glider. The native aero tow is currently achieved with a Cessna 172, and it's nearly as hit or miss as the Kinetic Assistant at times. It really depends on the airport. I've tested the aero tow all over and I've had about a 75% success rate in the pattern it chooses to fly. One feature missing is multiplayer aero tows, allowing a friend online to tow your glider up. This can currently be achieved with the Kinetic Assistant app and hopefully is coming to Microsoft Flight Simulator later. Another new feature is the visualization of thermals. This can be turned on in the weather menu and will show you where the lift is coming from. Another great way to learn and study how gliding works. But on that note, I just want to say thermals are not necessary for gliding. That's the biggest misconception I've seen since they were introduced to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Thermals are used to gain more lift as you fly, but that's not always the goal. There's so many other facets to gliding. Sometimes you just want to practice rope breaks, or sometimes you just want to fly in the pattern. I also decided to test the stall behavior, and from what I can tell, this behaves the way it should when comparing the stall characteristics to the SGS-233 glider I've been in. Gliders tend to sink and then pop back up when they're stalled this way. I could not really get any prop wash to register. I'm not sure how much wash a 172 would create, but sinking far below the glider doesn't seem to feel any different, and this is where the wash will be sinking down into. I sat down with a glider CFI weeks ago, and we noticed X-Plane to 12 doesn't seem to simulate this either, but Condor does. And I was hoping for something in this area, but maybe in the future. So is this the update I wanted? In many ways, yes, I love the added detail to the winch launches, the new handcrafted airfields for gliders, the two beautiful gliders they've provided us. This update really does celebrate gliders, and it's a nicely done integration. The arrow toe is the main area I think that needs focus. Multiplayer options need to be included, various toe plane options, and maybe some glider racing. Anyways, that's going farther than we need to at the moment, but I like to plant these ideas if I can. And remember, I have two glider ports of my own on FlightSim.2, Mountain Valley Airport, and the latest Williams Soaring Center. Enjoy them, they are free and ready to glide.